Hello you guys, welcome to Oh Sheets. Make sure to like and subscribe. We have a lot of fun things coming up and as you know by now, me and my husband are building a house. I'm so excited but also so overwhelmed, so anxious. It's just an exciting time but there's a lot going on and so I wanted to make a video about the selections process. So I'm gonna make a few videos throughout the home building process but the selections is probably the most exciting or maybe the most stressful part of the building. I just kind of wanted to bring you guys along to some of those appointments and um, selections that we have. Um, and it might just be kind of a collage of us looking at stuff and then I'll end the video off of course. But today is actually the very first day we are making selections. During the selection process, you go to a bunch of different places. You go to the floor store, you go to the door store, you go to the paint store. And so today we're going to kind of the like cabinetry cabinet hardware door type store so there's like literally eight major things we are picking out today my husband and i last night sat down kind of went through them prior so when we get there we're not just like overwhelmed at all the options so that was a good good idea on my part i feel like to kind of walk through that and we're pretty much on the same page on most so that's good going going good so far on that front but i also just wanted to come on here and say so for our selection process we are getting a pretty builder grade style home Nothing's really too custom. Obviously we can upgrade items if we want to, but we're really trying to stay in the budget, um, which I think is sometimes the hardest part of building a house, but we're determined. So that's kind of the deal there. So honestly, for the most part, like as far as hardware, you're kind of only given a few options and you just pick that option. Um, for the most part and then like hardware you can always change out later you know you can go buy them randomly one weekend and do that as a weekend project but i know it's pricey too but that is a good thing we're not completely going in and having to choose from like thousands of different styles so that makes it a lot easier so if you guys are in that similar situation i just kind of wanted to explain that um and i'll try to explain stuff as i go along in this process and i have a few other videos set that i'm going to film about the home building process obviously like part of the construction i want to build film a move-in type vlog and all that and I'll probably even do like a Q&A type, type video, but if you guys want to know anything specifically about this process, please let me know, because I'd be happy to help. And obviously I don't know everything yet, but hopefully soon I will. So I just kind of wanted to do an intro to this video and let's go make some selections. Fingers crossed it all goes well. What did I do this for? Fingers crossed. <laughs> kind of our selection collage experience with just a little mid selection update so basically I'm just gonna walk you through kind of the steps which I've kind of explained already but with selections we kind of have all of them due in like a two month time frame so for instance it's October right now I don't know when this video is coming out because um, it just kind of depends on the flow of the house building but it is October right now of 2020 and so we have a lot of selections due in November and a lot due in December so in October we were like we're gonna make all the November selections get that done and then in November make all the December selections and then be done right we've done like the shingles uh, the brick cabinets that sort of stuff so a lot of the main things and I just kind of wanted to speak on kind of that experience so far and then I'll do an after after all the selections are made video or portion of this as well so far going honestly pretty good I would say 90% good 10% weird awkward or bad <laughs> sometimes you just get interesting people at some of these places but as far as the selection goes so we kind of knew going in what the options might be or an idea of what the options might be and what we've what I've learned so far is like for instance for brick and shingles you kind of go in and you're like okay these are my options 
and you think maybe you'll decide that instant, but oftentimes they will send you, or you can request to be sent to some houses that maybe use the same shingle or same brick. So I wasn't aware of that, but I love it. Like I'm excited to do that. So at each of those places, we got houses that we can go look at that have those color scheme and then kind of decide from there. So I thought like we'd knock it out this day, but we'll probably go drive around at those houses and look. I mean, you obviously could, you could be like, yep, that's good. But a lot of the times, whatever's in the showroom will look a lot different when it's on a house, especially for brick and then probably for shingles as well. So that was just one little thing that I thought was interesting or different. Maybe you guys all were aware of that, but I thought that was a little interesting. I'm trying to think of anything else. Wes. Did you think there was anything unique about the selections? No. No. So yeah, for the most part, pretty good. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to update you guys on that. So that was that. So that's my midway update. We'll show you some more selection clips here and then I'll let you know how it goes at the end of it. So probably more a little later on in the year, but that's that. future me again um, rounding out the selections video so I hope not to make this too chatty but I'm trying to be as honest as possible right now too so when I was filming those other pieces that was actually kind of before the house building even started our um, I think I filmed most of those clips in October and November of 2020 our house ended up breaking ground on November 15th ish 2020 so I was very naive at the whole process I just watched back those clips and I was like, oh my gosh. And I need to clarify because I feel like even my, the words I was using were wrong and uh, wow, you learn so much as you build a house. So, and right now it is actually March, 2020 and our house will be done April. So for the most part, our selections are pretty much done. Um, the house isn't quite done yet, but for the most part selection. I want to clarify, our house is actually a custom home. Um, it is not the types of houses where you go to a neighborhood and you go to like a few design meetings and pick out what you want. That is not it. It is a custom home, but I think in the video before I've kind of said we're sticking with like very builder grade basic materials and we kind of are. So for instance, for our cabinets, we went with a shaker style cabinet that was in our price range. Nothing fancy, but we definitely could have gone and done whatever we wanted. We are building a custom home. And that is also why we have to go to so many different places. I think when you build a home in those um, suburbs, you go to a design meeting or two at you know the builder the like one location that is not the case for us we've had to go to a different place for the floor a different place for the fireplace like different places for everything um so keep that in mind it's definitely a little bit more work takes a little bit more time i'll go into the whole building process in another video but for selections we are building a custom home which requires you to go to a lot of different places to pick out your selections initially our selections were supposed to be due in November and December that was kind of the range what I did not know is those selections the time frame on those actually gets pushed as the project gets pushed so for instance our flooring initially I believe it said it was due like December something it now is due in March like it gets pushed back how the house pushes back I had no clue that was how it worked I thought I needed to get it all done but that is not the case so overall it ended up going good most of the stuff I said was true I just wanted to clarify on a few of those things but but we ended up selecting granite. Granite was a little bit funky. Um, I think you saw the clips. We went to select it, but again, we went so early that they said they wanted us to come back and select our actual slab because granite is a natural stone. Each shipment they might get in looks very different. Like it could have different splotches of stuff that you might not like, um, for instance. Whereas if you go with quartz, it's more streamlined and everything will probably look the same. 
We actually just recently went and reselected our granite, but we figured out which one we wanted and all that. I'm trying to think if there's any other points. Um, the selections have been hard. I should go into this. I think I've mentioned this on my Instagram page that I have, and that is that we selected our roof shingle and they put the wrong one on. Now, I totally understand people make mistakes, but wow, I was distraught over this. We ended up getting, um, making a little deal with our builder. He was gonna replace it for free, obviously, if we wanted to, but he said, if not, you can take a credit. And so we ended up doing the credit. It was a tough decision though. I really wanted my black roof. Uh, now it's more of like a blackish gray. So that was kind of disheartening. And it's funny, I've heard of that happening to other people. Um, you know, when you get hail damage, you might have to replace your roof. And I've heard my friend was telling me how this other person got like the wrong shingles put on their roof like twice now or something. So I, it, it happens. Another thing, we selected our brick again really early on in the process. They uh, ran out of it, like out of like they don't make it anymore. So we had to select a new brick, you know, after I had selected it. So basically, lesson learned. I think I just went and made selections way too early, but yet I thought I wasn't doing it way too early. Like per this per the timeline, I was doing it on time, but I just didn't know the timeline got pushed back, if that makes sense, kind of confusing. Your builder might be different, but that was just our situation. It has also been really fun during the selection process to kind of see the type of quality that our builder uses, and I've been very happy with that. Like for instance, went to the garage door place and they said, um, you know, you can get just a regular, like the garage door, plastic insulated or steel insulated, steel insulated being the best, and our builder uses that one. Like that's the, the one you get in your allowance. So a few times uh, there's been instances where I can tell that he uses higher quality stuff in the um, budget and I really like that. So I've been happy with that. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> for instance, like for the garage door, we didn't need to go look at garage doors. Like there was a standard one in the allowance, but he was like, this is the location. If you want to go check some more out, feel free. And I'm so glad we did because we found out there was more options in our budget that we would not have known about if we would have just selected the standard garage door. We ended up selecting another one that was still in our budget. So I highly recommend going to all the places, even if there's like a standard option for it. Um, I still recommend going to the places. I'll make two, two more quick points here. So this is our first home and growing up, I always said I would never build my first home. Why would you build your first home? I wanna clarify on that. I would never build my first home as my dream home, okay? Um, just because, wow, lots of decisions. But I actually have found out I kind of I'm glad I'm building my first home because it's just a different mind frame. Like I know when I'm making some of these selections that it's not my forever home probably. So it makes me feel better when, yeah, I'm not getting the highest, highest, highest quality of everything, but I know in the future, hopefully I can be able to upgrade to that. But I don't know, for some reason that's just like actually helping me knowing this isn't my forever home and making all those decisions. But that leads me to another point. I hope all that made sense. I might be rambling now, but that makes another point where if you build your dream home, one, get an interior designer to help you. And I'm, I'm not talking about like an interior decorator, I'm talking about like an interior designer to really make those boards of here's your floor with your tile, like really put everything together because there are so many decisions. It's insane. And the other reason why I'm almost scared to build my dream home now is because like there's just so many little things. Like it's a lot, it is a lot. So if you are building your dream home, like make sure you have a lot of time and just be prepared. There is a lot. And I, I'm sure the same goes for a remodel as well. Like if you're doing a major remodel, I'm sure that's very overwhelming as well, but it's a lot, it's a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie, but it is really fun. And I think it's gonna be so rewarding we are so excited and I, I love this opportunity. I'm, I would do this a hundred times again, but now I just, I know, um, but it has been fun kind of going into it with open, fresh eyes. I mean, my parents have built their house, so I've been able to ask them a few questions, but um, for the most part, I mean, that was like 20 years ago. So it has been fun. I've enjoyed it. I love going over and seeing the process and the progress. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and kind of end off the selections video since that's all there is. And I can't wait for you to show you guys, you know, the final product. There's, there's still gonna be a few, a few Few more build vlogs and move in vlogs so stay tuned for those and make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next wednesday bye